So we're going to do a demonstration for you here of using Android Script, which is a brand new uh, piece of software available on Google Play that allows you to write Android applications just using JavaScript. It makes it really simple. And we're going to try and control uh, this rather clever device called the Esprino, which is also a new device. It allows you to use JavaScript actually on board as well. So I've got a little OTG cable here. So your device has to support OTG. This is uh, a Samsung Galaxy S3 and that does support OTG so and this thing is just a, a little uh, really just a very short USB cable this is this is the OTG cable this part so here's my OMI Esprino board I'm gonna plug that in now into my Galaxy S3 you can see it's automatically launching uh, Android script here now this is the little sample here sample code if I actually have a look at that I can actually see the source code to this little example here. This is available on uh, the Android Script Google Group, so you can go on there, find that, and download that, and have a go yourself. Now you can see that the LED is flashing away uh, once every about, it's about half a second, once every 500 milliseconds here. So I'm going to launch my little Esprino demo here. Now you can see I've got some buttons down here and a little area where I can write programs. So I've already got a little program in there. What I'm going to do is connect now. I've connected to the Esprino device. I can send reset and you can see the LED is turned off. I can then send my little program in and you can see the LED is now flashing a bit quicker. That's because I've got it set to flash. I've got the set interval here to every 200 milliseconds. I could then edit that if I want. So I'll press reset for now. You can see the LED is stopped. I'm going to um, edit that now by adding, well I think I'll take some off, I'll make it a bit faster let's set that to 20 milliseconds so if I um, press send on that, now you'll see the LED and if you can see it on there, it's flashing very quickly anyway every 20 milliseconds now if I wanted to save that program on the board permanently I just hit the save button now that program is saved on the board so when I unplug the board it will um, maintain that so I could go away and plug that in on a battery power and it would still have that program on. So if I plug that back in, you'll see the LEDs flashing away really quickly now. When we first started it was going much more slowly than that, so you can see the program has actually been saved. I could connect again here and resend my program. I can reset. Let's put that back. Edit this on here. Of course you can edit this program using the new um, Android script browser based IDE which actually makes it a little bit easier if you want to edit your scripts I'm now going to send that and there we are flashing a bit more slowly like we were in the beginning you can press save it pauses for a second and starts flashing after it resets the board so there you go demonstration of how to use Android script to create a little portable programmer for Esprino hope you enjoyed this Go and get Android Script. It's a cool program. It allows you to write loads of different programs for Android devices. This is just one little example.